Welcome to St. John the Evangelist, the oldest and most vibrant Catholic community in Baltimore County, Maryland. On behalf of Father Pete Literal, our pastor, and the entire parish staff, we want you to know that you are welcome, loved, and prayed for. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected all of us. At this time, please take a moment to pray for all those who have died from this deadly virus.
Good morning. Good morning and welcome to the celebration of the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time and Catechetical Sunday. Our celebrant for this liturgy is Father Pete, our pastor. In unity with all our brothers and sisters in Christ, please stand and join in singing our opening hymn, Diverse in Culture, Nation, Race, number 536 in your Blue Gather hymnal. celebration. This is a celebration of our faith. We are united in our faith in the risen Lord. And this is the very purpose why we are all gathered in his name. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in the scripture reading, today you will hear God calls us to greatness in the kingdom. And this is by becoming the servants of all. We are called to receive and to serve all with love and generosity of the children. Of God. So to prepare ourselves into this Eucharistic banquet, let us now open our hearts. Let us seek God's mercy and His compassion. Lord Jesus, you call us to serve all in your name. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you give us an example of being the servant of all. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you will always receive the helpless and the lowly. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor. Grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked say, let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions against the law, and charges us with violations of our training. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find what will happen to him, for if the just one be the Son of God, God will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put the just one to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm response is Psalm number 54, The Lord Upholds My Life, which can be found at number 55 in your Blue Gather hymnal. That's number 55 in Gather.
a reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder in every foul practice. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure, then peaceable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits, without inconstancy or insecurity or insincerity. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. Where do the wars and where do the conflicts among you come from? Is it not from your passions that make war within your members? You covet but do not possess. You kill and envy but you cannot obtain. You fight and wage war. You do not possess because you do not ask. You ask but do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee, but he did not wish anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples, and telling them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him. And three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, what were you arguing about on the way? But they remained silent. They had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said, to them, if anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in their midst, and putting his arms around it, he said to them, whoever receives one child such as this in my name, receives me, and whoever receives me, receives not me, but the one who sent me. My dear friends, this is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ.
If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. We will be able to fully understand this particular teaching of Jesus in the context of the gospel because the gospel reading today is just like a repeat of what was proclaimed last week because Jesus was telling about his suffering for the sake of all where God invites and calls all of us not to be not to be afraid to make a sacrifice when we make when we have love in our hearts to make a sacrifice for others and when Jesus was talking about what is about to come to himself, that he will suffer and die. This thought stuck in the minds of his disciples who were following him. Now they were thinking, if he dies, who will succeed? If he dies, who will be leading us? Who will be the greatest who will be the first. And this is the context wherein Jesus began his teaching. The most important thing that we ought to, to, follow, to understand because we are all called to follow Jesus. To be the first to follow him. And he gave us a beautiful explanation of what it means to be great, to be the first. If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. And then he followed this with a beautiful gesture calling a child, taking a child, placing it in their midst, and putting his arms around it, he said, whoever receives one child such as this in my name, receives me. Brothers and sisters, on this Sunday, on this weekend, all over the churches, all over the world, all Catholic churches are celebrating Catechetical Sunday. This is not just about catechism. In a sense, we have volunteers who teach us our kids. This is about the sacred dignity of our Christian responsibility entrusted to all of us. A little later, I will be calling all our catechists, all our teachers in the school, all volunteers in the Ministry of Faith Formation for Adults, all those who are assisting in our sacramental preparation, baptism, and confirmation, because these are the people whom we call catechists in our parish. But I will be going beyond that because as I look around and getting back into the scripture, the optic that our Lord Jesus Christ used is your children. If I ask all the kids, please stand. Hannah, stand. Come on. All kids, stand. All kids. You are all two kids. Stand. All these children, these are the children of our parents. And the Lord said, taking a child and putting them in their midst and telling them, whoever receives this child in my name, receives me. What does it mean? You may sit down. It means not only these parents 
are responsible to care, to love, to provide for their children. It means as a community of God, as people united in our faith in the Lord, as a church, we have a big responsibility of taking care of our young people, especially those who are very young in their faith, that we may guide them to know God and God's love for them. Catechism means echoing the faith that you receive. We echo, 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 echo. We try to echo, echo, echo the faith that we receive from the Lord. And this is our responsibility. All of us are responsible for this. You always read as you come into the church, intentional accompaniment. This is the trust of our parish community that we may be able to accompany one another so that we may discover our God in a very personal manner and may experience the love of God for us so that in return, we may also show our love for God in real. This is our call. The call for all of us to echo our faith in a community like St. John the Evangelist who is now taking a spiritual journey. The path to greatness is really taking all our young people to become precious in our midst here in our church community to give our fullest attention so that we can guide and accompany these young people to discovering the love of God for them. Man and dad, fathers and mothers, parents, you are catechists. You are the teachers of faith of your children. Our teachers in the school, our catechists in religious ed on Sunday, they are your partners. They will never replace you. You have the prime responsibility to echo first your faith. Your kids are with you. How many hours a day? And whatever you echo to them, that is what they will receive. That's why it is very important for all of us to start asking that question. What do we echo? What do we give? What do we say to our children? Because Whatever you echo to them, that is what they will receive. And that is how you are forming them, their heart. It is very critical. We heard from the first reading from the book of wisdom that we cannot simply fall into the trap of selfishness or pride or arrogance. Because if this is what we echo to our children, be ready. Make a lot of money because you will be using that for your kids when they grow up. Because there will be a lot of litigations that may be coming on your way. This is the truth. I've worked at the federal prison system for 20 years. And I have heard stories of people serving two, three life sentences. Everything started at home. What parents echo to children is what they receive, becoming the foundation of their life. That's why, brothers and sisters, Catechetical Sunday is very important for us, most especially here at St. John, because we take seriously our 
accompaniment of our people. Eric Mann and Dad, you feel so or not confident to teach. That's the reason why we do invite you. All the adult faith formation offerings that we have, that man is you walking with purpose. You hear this. We have other faith formation offerings that we offer here at St. John. It's simply because to equip you, to provide you what you need, to guide you. And that is the way, the path, how we can be great in the eyes of God. For the path to greatness is serving God and his people with love. So brothers and sisters, I am preaching to you not my own words. I am preaching to you what the gospel is telling us. We want to be great, he said, then take this trial, meaning not just in trial, take, take the people of our world and start building, forming part of people so that we may become people God planned us to be. And that is real Christian people. This is how we become great in the eyes of God. When all of us are willing to serve one another in love and in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever wants to be the first, the Lord says, be the servant of all. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, on this Catechetical Sunday, and for the evangelization mission of our church, the ministry of a great many people is truly needed so that communities as well as individuals may advance to full maturity in faith and continually show forth their faith through the celebration of the liturgy, through study, and through their manner of living. This ministry is abundantly provided by those who devote themselves to catechesis, enlightened by God's word and the teaching of the church catechist. They do impart to others an initiation to a deeper formation in those realities that they themselves have learned as truths to be followed in living and to be celebrated in liturgy. So we bless the name of the Lord for giving us such co-workers and pray through the Holy Spirit they will receive the grace they need in their ministry. And I would be inviting all of you, with those who are willing, those who are serving in our school, in our education mission at St. John, the religious ed, the faith formation, the catechism, the RCIA, youth ministry, who are present in this mass, Please rise. I will be doing a special blessing for all of you. The Lord be with you. Lord God, source of all wisdom and knowledge, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to live among us and to proclaim his message of faith, hope, and love to all nations. In your goodness, bless our brothers and sisters who have offered themselves 
of catechism for our church. Strengthen them with your gift that they may teach by word and by example the truth that comes from you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And as a sign of our gratefulness for the services that they do, let us give them a hand. Please rise. Let us now pray to God, our helper, who cares for the lowly and the afflicted, as we all respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Catholic Church in the year of the Eucharist, that we may become aware as never before of Christ's living presence among us in word and sacrament, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our state and national leaders, may they strive continuously to protect the sanctity of life at all stages, religious freedom, and the vulnerable among us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the St. John community, during this bicentennial year, may we recommit ourselves on our spiritual journey by participating in one of the intentional accompaniment programs being offered here, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our parish catechists in religious education, our school, RCIA, and all our faith formation programs, may they be led by the guidance of the Holy Spirit in their role as religious formators, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those on our parish prayer list, those who've asked for our prayers and for the prayers we hold in our hearts, May God, in his infinite goodness, provide for all our needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Anne Shanahan, wife of the late Dan Shanahan, and Rita Ritter, wife of the late Clinton, Clayton Ritter, Ritter, and James Michael Rowland, brother of Valerie Cooster Lloyd and Stephanie Froberg, May they rise again with Jesus to the joy of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Frank Kohut, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as a concluding prayer, for all the petitions that we have asked God, let us now pray our bicentennial prayer. Together, Son of God, we are so grateful for you. You have sent your Spirit upon this community of St. John the Evangelist to accompany one another in encountering your love and peace for 200 years. Jesus, we turn to you and look for your guidance so that we may work together as a community to support the mission of St. John the Evangelist Long Green Valley, to love God, love others, proclaim the good news, and make disciples for at least 200 more years. Ever faithful are your works, O Lord. We are truly blessed and encouraged to continue to serve you and your people. Amen. Please be seated. Please join in singing our offertory hymn, Heart of Christ, which can be found in your Brown People's Mass book at number 100.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirits and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by your Lord and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord was away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. Pray now, brothers and sisters, that may sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through this heavenly mystery, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. And by his suffering, cancelled out our sins. And by his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has opened or unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise. As without end, we acclaim. <laughs> And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the working and power of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. So therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy this gift we, brought, we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this mystery. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and gave you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. 
gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you this in thanksgiving, this holy living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have preached you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, William, our Archbishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to our brothers and sisters whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are preaching to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Amen. 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 Forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. 
Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace of Christ be with you. Peace of Christ be with you. And Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. of spiritual communion. We are going to pray the act of spiritual communion faithfully, assisting our brothers and sisters who are following us by a live streaming. Together, my, my Jesus, Jesus, I believe, I believe that, that you are present in the most holy, holy sacrament. sacrament. I, I love you above all mind. things, and, and I, I desire to receive you into my soul. soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion processional hymn is now in this banquet, which can be found at number 600 in your Blue Gather hymnal. Number 600. the 
while you are seated, I'd like to make an announcement. We have two big events happening this back to back. Two Saturdays, starting this coming Saturday, we have our bicentennial wine festival, and it will be outside. Everybody is invited to come. Tickets are available in the Narthex. And then the following sun Saturday will be October the 2nd. That is also our bicentennial fun run. You want to walk with me for a mile? Come. But the whole intent of these events are to establish our connection with our church community, to become part of the community that we are trying to revive and rebuild. And I would like to ask all families of St. John to become part of this wonderful initiative given by our bicentennial celebration so that we can be a church community of St. John. There are intentional accompaniment programs. This is the second week of our That Man is You. We have so far registered 47 people of men, and we would like still to invite all the men of the parish to become part of That Man is You, a special program for men. And then a special program for women, walking with purpose. And I believe this afternoon, after this month, one o'clock, there will be an orientation for those people who will be asking questions about this. You are all invited. Registration is also available in the Narthex. And those of you who would want to become part of the RCIA journey, for those wondering and wa wanting to become, to understand the Catholic faith, this will be starting, the RCIA program will be starting this coming month. Ministry opportunities are available. We have this in the bulletin. And also next weekend will be our confirmation class. Would like to invite all of you to pray for this confirmation class so that uh, the guidance of the Holy Spirit will truly anoint and lead our young people to know and to love more Christ. And also, one thing that I would like to see is we have already opened our LJ's Cafe. Coffee and donuts are available in the, in the social hall. And for our brothers and sisters who are finding it difficult to come down, we have an elevator for you ready so that you can be taken down downstairs. And from the bottom of my heart, I would like to thank all our catechists, those involved in faith formation of the parish, the school, and all the faith formation activities of religious ed. We all thank you for the services that you have been doing. And I would like to thank all the parents for these who become partners of this faith formation, the echoing of our faith. This is our work together. If we want to be great as a community of God, then let this be the path that we take. We take care of our young people. And I thank from the bottom of my heart also for your support to the ministry and to the operation of St. John for through your offering regular weekly giving. Please stand. Let us pray. <coughs> Graciously raise up the Lord. <coughs> Those you renew with his sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended. Let us now go in peace and let us glorify the Lord with our life. Thanks be to God. Please remain standing in place until the presider's procession has completely exited to the narthex. Please also join in singing our recessional hymn found at number 433 on eagle's wings. 433 in your gather hymnal.